This is my uh, free air wireless uh, electrical generator, whatever you want to call it, um, that I've been experimenting with. This is another experiment. I'm getting about 1.5, call it volts. Uh, right now it's driving this LED, which you can barely see. Uh, not a lot to it. I disconnected. This is a crystal radio. I disconnected the earpiece and the uh, what do you call it resistor over here. I've got a capacitor in it, 100 microfarad capacitor in the line, and I'm trying to think about how I can get a little bit more power out of it. One thing I can disconnect this LED, and I, my guess is, yeah, the voltage jumps up to what do we call it? the capacitor has to fill. It'll go over two volts. So how can I get more power out of this thing? Okay, so not under load, it's going to go over 2.2 uh, .2 volts, something like that. And uh, I'm, I'm thinking about how to maximize the power out of this. Well, okay, right now all it's got is a single diode rectifying it. So in normal power situations, if you want, you have an AC wave and you want to try to get the maximum power out of it, you use a full wave bridge rectifier and assuming that I can find four of these uh, diodes, these 1N34A diodes somewhere around the house, then I just might be able to do a little bit better than, looks like it's going to go about 2.5 volts uh, unloaded and what do we say about 1.5 loaded. So uh, okay, let's give it a try, full wave bridge rectifier on our on our crystal electrical generator. This is our full wave bridge rectifier. You can see the banded ends are attached to the red alligator clip and the non-banded ends are attached to the black alligator clip and these go to the uh, multimeter. And of course the other end one goes to, this end goes to one side of the uh, tuning coil and this goes to the other side of the tuning coil, the wiper side. With the LED disconnected and a capacitor in line, I can get uh, 4.6, 4.7, 4.8 volts, something like that. Um, the problem is I'm not getting any more amperage, which is, uh, you yeah, know, let's take a look at that. Here you can see I've got it set up for uh, current. This is milliamps, and basically I'm getting the same reading as I did when I only had a single diode. Um, so 0.12, 0.13. Uh, milliamps, so not uh, not huge. Let's see what happens when we move this. Now, when we take the radio part of the tuner out, we uh, get a serious drop in milliamps, which is what I would expect. Um, let's see if I can get it back here. Oops. Let's try. There we go. So uh, the tuner is having a lot to do with the uh, current. Let's uh, let's switch back to uh, voltage, and we'll take a look at that. Okay, here we are back to voltage. You know, 4.5 somewhere in that range. Um, when I remove the tuner, it doesn't have a huge impact, uh, which is kind of interesting. So the current is depending a lot on the radio tuner, but the voltage is not. Most of the voltage is coming out of the antenna tuner part. So, uh, kind of an interesting uh, phenomenon. Well, I was going to try to drive a small motor, but I know it won't do it from earlier experiments. I don't have the, the uh, milliamps to do it. Um, and frankly, I'm not quite sure uh, why some of the things are going on that it is. I was hoping to get uh, roughly twice the milliamps with the uh, full wave bridge. I got twice the voltage roughly, but uh, stayed with the same uh, milliamps. So may have to do some more playing, but I uh, thought you might find this interesting in your uh, home DIY electronics and uh, maybe you can do something and, and further this and uh, let me uh, give me some hints on uh, what I might do to extract a little bit more power out of this.